All right, um, may I borrow, is this the homework? Okay, so on your homework, what I asked you guys to do was to find the lateral surface area. I'm sorry, well, what I asked you to do was find the area of each side. So we have a figure that looks something like this. And what it states is, this is 9 centimeters, this is 12 centimeters, this is 9 centimeters as well, this is 9 centimeters, and the height is 7.8 centimeters. Right? So when we're trying to find the lateral surface area, ladies and gentlemen, what we need to do is find the area of each and every side. Now what's important about this, this is what we call a prism. And when we look at a prism, a prism is based on what the shape of the base is, and that has just been extended. So a lot of times you guys look at this and say, all right, well, the base of this is a rectangle, right? It's an isomorphic drawing, but it's a rectangle. Now, what I prefer to do is if you were to rewrite this and redraw it, sorry, if I took this triangular prism and I put it on the triangle base, it would look something like this, correct? Right? And what I want you guys to understand is this is the triangle, which we would call the base. And notice the top is exactly the same, correct? So when I'm trying to find the lateral surface area, I need to find the area of every single side. So the, the base and the top, and then all three of these triangular sides. So to make things um, sometimes less confusing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out each shape that we have. So this is what I'm going to call the base and the top, all right? And the base and the top is 9 centimeters by 7.8. And I'm going to add that to each and every side. And each and every side is a rectangle. I'll call this the right side plus the left side. So if you did right and left, right, left, and then the this would be the back which would be right here, plus the back. All right, now you guys don't have to do this, but if you're getting confused with finding the area of each and every one, you can just draw simple little drawings like this. Um, because if you look at this, the right side is going to be 12 by 9 centimeters. The left side is going to be the exact same dimensions, 12 by 9. And then the back is going to be 9, also by 9 by 12. So do you guys see how each, that's different. Do you guys notice that all the rectangular sides are exactly the same? Yes? And notice that we have two of these. So what I'll do is write in the area, the area for this equals 1 half base times height. The area for each one of these is base times height. Base times height plus base times height plus base times height plus base times height. Now there's two of these, the base and the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply these by 2 times 1 half base times height plus there's three of these. So I'll multiply this by 3 times base times height. So the area of this lateral surface area is going to be 2 times the area of these triangles and 3 times the area of each one of these sides. Now we just need to figure out, well, what was the base and height for each one? For here, the base is 9. The height is 7.8. Plus, here, the base is 12. The height is 9. So now I just take my handy dandy calculator. Now notice that 2 times 1 half, that just goes to 1, or multiplies to 1. Oops, wrong ones. Those two. We still have the 9. So I do 9 times 7.8. That it gives me 70.2 plus 3 times 9 times 12 is 324. Therefore, the total area of all of the sides, which we call the lateral surface area, is going to be 70.2 plus, um, 70 plus 324, 
which will be 300 and 394.2 centimeters squared. Remember our dimensions are in centimeters, and since we're finding the area, it's going to be in the second dimension, which we'll have as squareds. OK, and that's it. That's all you got to do. Well, I showed it to you with a lot of work, but you really don't need to do 